I was uh, attempting to create sort of a porcelain finish on these, uh -huh. and the theme is about nature and humanity, uh, how there is uh, no boundary between the two. Uh, in some sense, a unity. Are you guys on a nipples kick? So, um, <laughs> Mario, are you so, doing so what do you think about this work? Get out of here! You're supposed to take a hip snap. Go right here, and here's the midriff. And her, her head's up there. These are encaustics, and they're painted with molten pigmented wax. And there's no uh, collage and no photocopy in them. All of the details, all of the painting is done with layers of melted wax. And each layer is fused into the previous layer of wax with a propane torch. And it's a process of painting layer after layer of molten wax. Uh -huh. This painting probably has about 20 layers of wax. Uh -huh. And I would say this one might have about as many layers. For this show, I sacrificed a book. Uh -huh. So this is an old uh, religious text. Uh -huh that I discovered and I thought the best thing to do would be to drive some nails into it because, because to me, you don't want to read it well I don't think it will be read it's in <laughs> German for instance but also it's the kind of history that most people would not read uh -huh. anyway uh -huh. and I uh, thought it had a lot of meaning this way because to me it talks about the conflict of religion and the violence and also uh, even updating it to terrorism right now where people die for their faith. So to me it has many possible interpretations. And this book here with the uh, Against the Grain. And this this book is uh, really about what happens when you do something you're not supposed to do. It's actually better from this angle, I think. Which you like to do, right? Like so, for instance, you never bind against the grain, so you're always cutting paper with the grains, board too, and also cloth. So I thought, well, what happens if you do do that? So you can see the book will never close. But then the challenge to me was using that as an advantage, so you can actually read this book while it's closed. And all it says is, uh, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. When did you take this picture? The picture was taken about two and a half years ago in Peru. Where about in Peru? Outside of Cusco, uh -huh. a small village. Uh -huh. And uh, we were touring and photographing out around Cusco area, Peru, for uh -huh. about two weeks. Is your finger over the lens? No. <laughs> and this is just a door. There's something the doorway. In the There's a figure in there. There's a man sleeping in the doorway. Ah. It's kind of hard to see these are the reflections. Right. Did you do any um, uh, post-processing on this, like Photoshop, but just <laughs> maybe some you know, no no digital manipulation, mm -hmm. just some color and maybe color enhancement, mm -hmm. contrast a little bit. That's it. The light was reflecting that way off the doorway, and if you look in the background, you can see it. If the light's right, there's a bottle of tequila back there. <laughs> no wonder he's that. It's down. <laughs> Now this is uh, oil, right? Mm -hmm. And 
It looks like uh, you use some. Uh, you, did you use some palette knives? Yes, it's all with yeah. spatulas yeah. and palette knives. Uh, <coughs> some real thick paint here. Yes, lots of texture. <coughs> well, you, your work has changed quite a bit since uh, you joined Art Space. Yeah, I was uh, doing more watercolor and ink, uh, and uh, you now I'm more into oil. To oil. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like oil? I like it um, for one of the reasons for the fact that it doesn't dry quickly, and that I can back. work with it and, and reshape it. And, uh, <laughs> what are you guys doing here? We're, we're shaking out. Yeah. Hang out. <laughs> oh, okay. Hang, just hang out. Hang yeah. Out. Or is that video or is that... Uh... Video. Oh, okay, video. <laughs> Next thing you know, we're on YouTube.